I would say that this one summer is a uh, graphic novel about the time in between childhood and adulthood, but it is also about parents and about teenagers and children and the tension in between the two. I would say the book is about tension. It's about tension between your summer life and your real life. It's about the city and rural. It's about men and women and husbands and wives and children and adults and the tension between within yourself as well. Um, but that is the emotional core, but I would also say it's really an attempt to capture the sense of summer, the melancholy of summer and the, um, sensory experience of summertime in Ontario. Uh, well, I can't take complete credit for writing the book, obviously. I, uh, the book is a co-creation with my cousin, uh, Mariko Tamaki, and, uh, um, but I do consider um, us co-creators, and I feel like that's the best word to use in this case because um, when you're working with pictures and words and the combination of the two, um, the word writing becomes a little bit less defined, but uh, we, it is Mariko's story um, that I was lucky enough to sort of uh, put my input into. I would say that uh, this is the second book I've done with uh, Mariko. Um, the first book that we co-created was Skim, which was also nominated for Governor General's Award. And uh, this book was a lot more complex in a lot of ways. There are multiple uh, age groups sort of at play within the story and it was a much more emotionally difficult book to make. Um, and therefore, uh, I am not, as an illustrator, you're not generally um, uh, required to put that much real emotion into <laughs> the images you create, but for this it seemed completely necessary that you were going to have to mine very difficult um, territory. Uh, so that was, I would say, the most difficult part of creating this one summer. So I would say that the um, style of the book is inspired by the place itself, which is uh, the Muskoka area of Ontario, um, where Mariko and I um, went to research, it's where the book is set and where we went to research and take photos and do a fact-finding mission. And so I was inspired by the landscape there and the trees and the water and the beach and was trying to um, interpret those um, sensory elements into the art style. The most difficult thing about doing comics uh, is the labor, <laughs> the time. Um, it is a marathon of drawing and it's like drawing boot camp. Um, I mean, I've probably drawn those characters hundreds of times from every conceivable angle and position and um, emotion. So it is, um, it is just the labor, to be honest, is the most difficult thing about uh, doing comics in general. Winning the Governor General's Award is significant to me because it's uh, a endorsement of what you're even trying to do in life. Uh, it, comics is a very uh, lonely, solitary endeavor where you're alone, uh, working in the studio every day, um, alone listening to the radio or music or whatever. And there's not a lot of um, feedback that you get while you're doing that process. And uh, so to have uh, somebody say, you know, give you or give you a pat on the back in any way <laughs> is, is a, a nice affirmation that this crazy thing that you're doing is worth it.